As I mentioned in my last video that I will come back regarding Intel i3 to i7 10th gen processor upgrade. How is it OD? How is it cost effective? And why I have decided to upgrade the system? I will show you all the details on screen in this video. At the end of this video, I will also provide one pro tips if you are going to build a computer or PC for you then it will be helpful because you don't need to be confused regarding what type of CPU you need to choose what type of dedicated GPU you need to choose so on that website you can check the compatibility and the performance matrix of your computer peripherals in combination like if you are interested to build a generic CPU generic system then you can choose that and according to that you can select your peripherals and it will show that performance matrix if there is any kind of bottleneck or not so that type of simulations can be possible through that website and i will show you that on screen so stay tuned till end myself chandrachur welcome to my channel explore review usually i make videos on tech tips review unboxing sometimes in travel as well so if you are interested to get an update on those things please subscribe like and share my channel so let's jump to the screen get all the answers i started looking into that upgrade options for intel cpu so i started looking the prices of 11th gen 12th gen 13th gen and 14th gen cpu but the problem is here as i am using i3 10th gen and you using with a v460m motherboard so that 11th gen onwards cpu would not be compatible with v460m motherboard so definitely another cost incurred to make the cpu compatible with the motherboard so as you can see if i purchase any i5 processor from 11 to 14th gen it will cost around a 12 to 13k or more than that but here i am talking about the offer prices so you need to purchase motherboard as well which need to be 560 or that needs to be 660 motherboard so that will cost around 5 to 6 thousand additional so the entire budget would be 17 to 18k that was out of my budget actually i was looking under 15k also here i am talking about only CPU and motherboard not any other computer parts. I started to look into the AMD options as well because Intel option was out of my budget. So uh, I looked into that Ryzen 5 5600G CPU is the most versatile CPU which will help you in that editing as well as in gaming. As I am using Intel CPU with B460M motherboard so here definitely I need to change the motherboard because here you minimum need B450M motherboard with upgraded BIOS but it is better always to stick on that upgraded motherboard so that you can upgrade your CPU with later. So I decided to select that B550 motherboard there is very minimum difference between b450 and b550 motherboard pricing that is very negligible almost 500 rupees in big billion day sale flip cut i was getting b450m motherboard around 4500 where b550 motherboard was coming around 5000 all the offers was pretty lucrative also that ryzen 5 5600g cpu was coming with 10,000 200 price tag price was within my budget like it was almost 15k but now the problem is that after doing some research i came to know that ryzen cpu is not natively supported by the mac OS. as i am using hackintos and using final cut pro in hackintos so this was very disappointing to me because i don't want to purchase any licensed product like adobe premiere pro or something like that es pre version is there also da vinci resolve black magic that is also a video editing tool but that is very much complicated to me maybe i am using final cut pro for long time also there was another benefit for final cut pro because final cut pro is also a licensed product but it is having 90 days trial period if you are using that and through command line you can renew it for another 90 days so you don't need to purchase any paid software for your video editing i am using it for quite long time and satisfied very much with it if you want to know how to reactivate final cut pro after 90 days trial period then you can comment me i will let you know you can as you can see that 
previous two options was not working for me. So again I started to find out some alternate solution. Now I started to find some used Intel CPU from 10th generation so that I don't need to upgrade my motherboard. So I started to found 10th generation i5 CPU and i7 CPU. After searching on Google few times, I came to know there is one website, Game Loot. That website is selling various game consoles, game, DVDs, CDs, also selling used computer peripherals and electronic goods. You can explore that website. At this moment, I will only jump to that computer peripherals, which is CPU and motherboard and graphics card. Next, go to that Game Loot website. You can see I have opened that game loot website in my computer browser. Let's go to that PC option. You have lots of options here. Let me tell you that is PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, sale uh, option, your other electronics gadgets and computer per peripherals. I will come to that selling option later. Consoles you can buy sell your gaming consoles they have that repair options as well now coming to that pc so you can explore that website as per your requirement and get the options whatever available in that game loot website in pc components you can see like lots of components are there graphics card processor a power supply cabinet coolers monitors motherboard mice keyboard desktop ssd hdds so pretty decent uh, listing is there. At this moment I would not go each of that option I will just explore that processor CPU. So in this page you can see like they have pretty decent stock on latest and as well as old CPUs. Uh, old CPU means they have also 5th or 4th generation CPUs as well. So you can see that this CPU is from 3rd generation. So those are also available. I purchased that i7 CPU on October 5th during the time that 10th gen i5 was not available so at this moment i am shooting this video or recording this uh, screen on 3rd november and you can see like i5 that k series cpu is available and price is pretty lucrative as well that is 10499 so as per your requirement you can explore this let me go to my account section and show you that what i purchased from game loot so previously i was trying to purchased that i7 CPU on May but during that time price was 17,499 and I was thinking about that like should I purchase or not should I upgrade it or not okay so I was in dilemma but in October during that time I saw that price is 13,499 I immediately booked that because that i7 CPU with overclocking options uh, but definitely my motherboard is not supported for overclocking but later I may include that like my I may upgrade that motherboard in Jade series if that is available in that used market okay so this is the thing like I purchased Intel Core i7 10700K processor on 5th of October with 13499 shipping is free so let me tell you the few things they are already mentioning that this is a pre-owned product purchased from individual in India fully tested and comes with one month warranty may not include original box and just to let you know uh, that my CPU uh, did not came with original box but it came with the original Intel fan though that Intel fan is not supposed to be used with a 100 watt CPU this i7 CPU is uh, 100 watt because it is having overclock feature okay so that's why it is uh, recommended to, to use a uh, good cooling system with this CPU so you can see here like without investing 15k I just invested 13,499 and upgraded my CPU and that is also a bit powerful compared to i5 and Ryzen 5 because that i5 and Ryzen 5 both are 6 core CPU 6 core and 12 thread so I believe that this is a very worthy decision to upgrade though this one is used CPU and there would be risk so that is the thing so somewhere you need to compromise that now I am coming to the sale option in sale option I am trying to sell my existing i3 10th gen CPU because I have already upgraded that and there is no requirement to keep that old i3 CPU so in this sale page 
you will get pretty decent options in every aspect in every electronics gadget so i will go to that computer part then i will select processor cpu then i have to select intel then i will choose intel core i3 so here i need to identify that cpu model i have 10th gen which is 10100 so here you can see that cpu model is available and they are saying that they will provide 3500 cash or 3750 store credit so here i will choose 3500 cash because i don't have any plan to purchase anything from game loot in recent future so i have selected this option as you can see it has been added into that so previously there was another one so let me remove one this then click on again cash there you can see 1x are uh, 3500 then sell checkout in sales checkout option you need to provide all your details then you need to provide your bank transfer as you are not going to take store credit so here in shipping you have two options you can ship it from your way they will provide 125 additional or they can, you can also choose pick up from my location doorstep pickup facility at no extra cost so i am choosing not to take much hassle on this shipping part because that 125 is not very much now you have to select that i have read and accept the trading policy then you need to proceed before proceeding that you need to check that packaging option in packaging tips they provided the instruction for games series and consoles but you can follow the same instruction for your product as well so what you understood here I have invested 13,500 rupees to upgrade my CPU. Then I am getting buyback option from the same website which is giving me 3,500 for my old CPU. So I can say that I have upgraded my PC from i3 to i7 directly with investing 10,000 rupees. I think this is a pretty good deal and hope you will understand that benefit and hope you got all the questions sorry i hope you got all the answers of your questions okay so this is the thing now it's time for pro tips so you can see here i have search cpu bottleneck so let's open the bottleneck calculator website so previously i checked the configuration with this configuration that's why it is holding the data previous data so for processor let it be 10700k which I have purchased from game loot here i will select general task first then i will select here my graphics card that is rx 570 desktop and my screen resolution is full hd screen resolution proceed to calculation in this calculation you can see it is mentioning that 1.5 percent graphic card bottleneck okay so this configuration it is saying that this configuration has 1.5 uh, sorry 1.5 percent of graphic card bottleneck everything less than five percent should not be concerned major bottleneck so as you can see this configuration is pretty good for general task so for general task what do you identify general task like opening powerpoint doing excel sheet um, uh, watching some 4k videos and all these things preparing some uh, a design uh, that can be under general task now go to cpu intense task so for cpu intense task i will check the same all the configurations remaining same proceed to calculation here you can see that bottleneck is 0.8 percent everything less than 5 percent should not be concerned major bottleneck so uh, this is a, also a very good configuration now i am going to select that gpu intense task the all configuration will remain same proceed to calculation and here you can see it's saying that amd read on rx 570 is too weak for intel core i7 10700k on 920 that means uh, full hd screen resolution for gpu intense task so according to that as it is having more than 5% bottleneck it is also giving some solution in this section you can see like in upgrade there are 50 solutions has been provided what are the 50 solutions that 50 solutions like that blue mark are that compatible graphics card which will perform well with 10700k cpu so here you can choose any one of them so actually i identified one of that uh, graphics card 
in that game loot so that is geforce gtx 1660 super so if you selecting this that your cpu will can handle gpu intense task so let's choose that one let me go to home page select that geforce GTX 1660 Super with 6 GB of memory and rest of the configuration will remain same. Now I will proceed to calculation. See that there is 0% CPU bottleneck. So if you are upgrading your graphics card from RX 570 to NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super then there would not be any bottleneck it will handle GPU intense task. So this is the thing in bottleneck calculator you can do a good calculation and figure out a computer configuration like what kind of CPU you needed and what kind of GPU you needed. So that's all from my end in this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share and also comment if you need any kind of answers. I will try to address those. Thanks for watching the video. We will meet very soon.